All right, like I said, our goal is to be able to cut this uh, eighth-inch flat bar off quickly and repeatedly, re repeatedly at the same length. So we got our project board. We put the laid out the uh, Evolution Rage Four on it, and we're going to cut this off on the table saw in a minute. And then we're going to install a fence. This is just a mock-up here. Install a fence extending to the edge of the board, and this will allow us to cut lengths of uh, steel up to about four inches, giving us enough room to put a block on here as a stop block. So that's big enough for what I need to do. This could obviously be wider. You could make a bigger fence, but then this whole thing would be bigger. So. What I'm going to do is cut this off. I'm going to leave myself some extra leeway. This is where I put the mark here, but I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Because I'm going to mount this block on here, or the uh, extension fence first. Then I can adjust the evolution back and forth before I screw it into the, uh, into the board. So to screw it in, uh, these holes here were the screws for the rubber feet came out, they're actually threaded with some kind of metric thread. So I look at these one and uh, five eighths inch screws. They fit right into this little well here perfectly, but they don't go quite as far as I wanted to into the uh, project board. So I'm going to use these two inch uh, deck, they're just standard deck screws. And I put a washer on them. And then that can go in this little well here and uh, basically penetrate almost to the other side of this project board. So this will be super solid with three, screwed in three places will be plenty solid. We're going to be using the Rage 4 on this uh, workmate table, portable table. Get this stuff out of the way. What I've done for my other tools is I, I mount a board on here uh, and then uh, t tighten it up with the um, little stops here on the on the uh, workmate, and then uh, I usually put a bolt with a with a wing nut on it. So this this project board is actually going to mount this way, and I'll drill a hole here so I can um, attach it a little more securely to the board to the uh, workmate. But then it also be held in by friction if we push from both sides from the uh, these stops on the workmate. So see that in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and cut this cut this uh, project board on the table saw, and then we'll go on from there. All right. To cut the panel board, we're going to use or to cut the project board. We're going to use this uh, panel cutter I built. So this is just a piece of uh, half inch plywood. That's half inch. Yeah. That goes three eighths. Then I, I got this uh, oak um, wood that I ripped to exactly three quarters of an inch, which fits into my slot on my uh, table saw. And I had this cross piece. I made sure this was super square. And I got these uh, clamps to clamp down the work so it's a little more secure. So I need to remove the uh, fence. Leave this in place. I think that's nice. We'll put on our safety glasses, very protection. And then we'll uh, go ahead and cut this panel. So we're gonna cut it. Uh, let's go cut it this way. This, uh, the kerf on the saw is uh, five, uh, one eighth of an inch or so. so. Plus, I remember I said we were going to get this a little bit longer. This is the part that's the, this is the part over here that the uh, rage player is going to sit on. So we're going to make this a little bit maybe an inch longer just to give us some leeway. And then we'll uh, clamp it into the, yeah. I'm going to get this table saw set up and then I'll uh, go ahead and cut it. So the other thing is I've got my shop vac hooked up. So I'll plug the table saw and the shop vac in, turn those on, and uh, go ahead and cut this. Oh, and I've also got this roller set up. 
to catch the material so it doesn't fall on the floor afterwards, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how that, all that works. Cut off our uh, work pro work uh, board. Remember, this is uh, thin veneer plywood with uh, solid wood in between. So this is nice, strong material, and this is all set for us to to install our fence on it, and then we'll install the Rage Four on it. All right, so we cut our board, our panel. It's going to go in the uh, work mate like this. We can tighten these these up and wedge it in there. We're also going to we'll have room over here on this side to kind of drill a hole in for a, uh, a bolt and a wing nut to extra lock it in so it won't go anywhere. And the uh, Rage 4 will just fit on here like this. And we'll screw, use these screws like I was saying. Make it our deck screws with a wash on them. We'll screw them in there. But first we're going to mount our our uh, extension fence uh, right here. So we need to get it close and then we can, to get it perfectly lined up, we'll, we'll be able to slide this back and forth slightly and then before we screw it in. So let's make some marks on it to get it lined up. Alright, so this is about the right place. First we're going to cut off this extension fence. Make it easier to work with. They're just going to be the same width as this uh, opening here. So we're going to cut this off on the panel, panel cutter like I did before. All right, so we cut this off, and but it's just exactly the right width. There's a little lip here at the bottom. Uh, we could, you know, theoretically score this and get it to fit exactly up against here, but I don't think that's important. The main thing is we have an extension fence that's lined up with this. And um, we can put a stop block on it. So I'll just sand this off a little bit using our sanding sponge. Sand off the corners a little bit. So to attach this to here, the strongest thing to use is a biscuit. So these are little biscuits. You cut a slot in here, you cut a slot in here, put glue on both sides, and the biscuit holds it in there. So we're going to use our biscuit cutter. Walt biscuit cutter to do that. So. First we're going to make our layout lines on the on the table here. And then we'll go ahead and cut our biscuit biscuit slots. Alright, so to get the fence lined up perfectly, and we have a little bit of slop to move this back and forth on our uh, project board. But to get we'll put it basically in the middle to start with. And then we'll uh, we'll use this uh, machine square here. Make sure it's super super straight. So I this to line up perpendicular to the saw blade. So now we're going to put some lines on here. Now this is a little bit too long. I'm going to chop this off a little bit using the uh, panel saw panel uh, cutter. Then we'll put our biscuit right in the middle of this, right in the middle of this, and we're good to go. Right here and here, and the biscuit will fit right in there. Alright, so to find the proper place for our biscuits, we need to get the center of this. So we'll just measure this. I'll get a millimeter, it's easier. So it's 7 centimeters across, so 3.5. This is where we want to put our biscuit here. And here, 
this is, should be the same. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. That's about the same, yeah. So here's our center of our... Now the way the biscuits work, you can have some slop. It will slide back and forth, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll make our marks here. So we can locate that when we do our biscuit. We need to see a mark this way. So we can see that. So this is the center of our wood. So when we do the biscuit, we'll line up these lines with these lines, and this line with this line. Alright?